So this is the DHCP page. Uh, this is the live tool. So if you go into secure ENSD WAN, appliance status, uh, and then you have this DHCP tab here. Um, underneath here, it's fairly simple. You have DHCP subnet, so I'll have every VLAN put under here, and uh, predominantly, like it will show stuff like the subnet, the VLAN, and how many IP addresses are currently being used, um, and how many will IP addresses you have free available for clients to be given. Um, and underneath that, you'll have DHCP leases. Um, so here, I guess this is my switch and this is my AP. And those are currently, they, they currently have a, a DHCP IP address from my MX. Um, you have something here, which is expires in, which we'll go in a bit more detail. Um, but this is to do with the lease time. Uh, and I'll show you that um, in the DHCP configuration page. Um, but it's, sen it's essentially straightforward from here. There are instances where a DHCP, where an IP address will not be listed or a client will not be listed here. Um, if a client's been given uh, an IP address via static assignment, um, they won't show here. Clients with fixed DHCP assignments um, won't show here neither. Um, getting another address from another DHCP server. Um, clients that have not successfully like got that DHCP IP address from this MX and client VPN. I'm just gonna head over now um, over to the security in SD1 and DHCP page, um, which will essentially open up this page. So let's run through this. So you have client address and so here you have my subnet. Client address and so how the client will get the DHCP IP address so at the moment they'll get it directly from the MX. The MX is running a DHCP service. If I wanted to relay to another DHCP server um, the options would change and essentially I just pop in the IP address of my relay um, and the, D the MX will then just relay and send over to another DHCP server. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that back. Underneath here is mandatory DHCP. So this would mean that the client would need to get an IP address from DHCP um, and static IP addresses will not work under this um, IP assignment. Like that IP assignment method won't work under this VLAN. You have the lease time. Uh, the lease time, uh, as I showed you in the live uh, tool, it, it shows when it's gonna expire. It, here it's 17 hours. So the lease time is one day currently. I could change it to any of these options here. DNS name servers, there's three different options here uh, or, or, or four. I could specify uh, name servers. I could proxy to upstream DNS, uh, use Google and use umbrella. I'll go in a bit more detail as to what these options do uh, in another video. Um, boot options, so this is for example if you wanted um, to have specify a boot next server so that, I don't know, in certain cases you may use a, a service called Microsoft SCCM uh, and that would be to actually when clients start up you want them to boot to be able to get a, a file to get its operating system from. So you'd put that as the boot next server. Um, there's a little information there, so that would help you um, to get a bit more information. I'll go into more detail in another video. And the boot file name. Here you have DHCP options. So DHCP options are quite um, quite useful. So let's say, I, I'd say the most useful one would maybe be the MTU one. If you wanted your clients to get uh, an MTU value, instead of them getting, uh, let's say, 1500, you may want them to just have a thousand and so on. So you just type it in, in into here. And I'll, I'll do a separate video on that. Reserved IP ranges. Um, so you'll have reserved IP ranges. This, uh, this essentially says to the D, it says to the MX, do not give out these IP addresses. So maybe like a good idea some some people might do is if they if they don't allow the first 10 IP addresses, so do, like don't give out from one, 
um, over to 10. So you may want to save that for just servers um, or, or, or something in particular. So I'm just going to put servers here. Um, and yeah, the MX will then know not to give out these IP addresses. Fixed IP assignments is when you want a client to get a DHCP IP address all the time and you just you, you just want that client to only have that IP address under your VLAN which in this moment it's VLAN 1 so I would put let's say I will put my server and I'd put the MAC address of the server so 0000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000. let's say D5 I'm just gonna make up a MAC address and um, I'll put in what IP address I would like that client to always have that server um, to always have so let's say I'd want it to have dot five all the time and that client from then on when it comes and asks for DCP IP address this MX will give that um, and then I'd yep yeah, I'd click save and then yeah everything's saved that's the DCP page uh, that's the live tool uh, thank you for watching and um, I hope you found this useful.